morning everybody. It is Monday morning at 1046 and my husband just washed the bird cage out here. And I think he washed it with the bird in it. Looks like she had a little bath too, didn't you? You like it out here? Huh? You like laying on the deck, huh? What she does is she chases little ants and stuff. She goes after them. Look at her. She's on patrol right now. Yeah, so I better get my button gear and come on in, guys. Come on, Sophie. And I'm just going to make a piece of cinnamon toast. Oh, I did make a piece of cinnamon toast. And I think what I'm going to do is go into town and I need to get milk and what else do I need? Oh, I need to get some coffee mate, uh, French vanilla. And I think I'm going to try the sugar-free this time because I've been using the regular and then adding sugar to it. I'm realizing, you know, how much sugar I'm getting in my diet each day because I, I also have sugar with my cups of tea and, God, you know, i got to watch my sugar intake because my mom and my grandmother on her side were type 2 diabetic, so... I gotta kinda be careful. And as I sprinkle sugar and cinnamon on my toast. Oh God help me. I think I'm gonna just run into town and I'll go to our Walmart. I need to look around at a few things. Um, my daughter's coming and I wanna find a little baby walker because she said that Alex is pulling himself up and standing now. So I have a feeling that when they get here in July, he is going to be wanting to scoot all over the place. So I'll just get him a little walker, and he can just walk all around the house. You wouldn't believe how what a mess my kitchen is right now. I'm still in my pajamas. It's just been one of those lazy mornings. Hey, what are you doing? Are you standing next to your little pee pee pad? Oh, and I gotta call and make an appointment for her to go get her first little grooming. All right. Good boy. In here, little Miss Sophie. You can have one, too. No eating on the rug. Jeez. Hi, guys. I am guilty. I'm driving while filming. I'm just going to go order some glasses, some eyeglasses. I have my prescription with me. And... I'm just going to go check out the Vision Center at Walmart and just see what they have. I really don't need anything fancy. Um, I just wear them for driving and reading. I don't, you know, wear them for everything. I decided that I just needed to get out by myself today, so... Um, I'm all alone. Chewing gum. Chomping away. And they planted the corn in the cornfields up here. And supposedly, they say it's going to be knee high by the 4th of July. So we will see. Just got from down the road, to I've seen five. I went and picked out my frames for my glasses. They're a little bit like, you know the black ones that I wear, they're kind of square. They're a little bit like that, only they're tortoise shell, and they're kind of cute. Um, they're a little bit smaller than that, but the actual rims are a little bit thicker um, tortoise shell, if you can understand what I'm trying to say. But they're kind of cute, and I like the tortoise shell on them. It looks like it's going to be nice and sturdy because I throw my glasses in my purse. I'm really rough on them. I got the, um, it's like a Crisal lens, you know, uh, coating on them so that they don't glare because all my glasses glare when I'm doing videos. So, so I got those at Walmart in the um, vision center there. And they were only... I think they were like $39, 
for the frames, but with all the, you know, the prescription lens and all that in them, and the coating and all that, it was a little over $200. I mean, for a pair of glasses, I guess that's what you pay nowadays, uh, or probably a lot more than that if you go for good, um, you know, name brand frames and stuff like that, but I'm so hard on my glasses that I just, I couldn't see paying that kind of money. I just talked to my husband and I told him that I was bringing home dinner tonight. I just went to the deli department in Walmart and um, I got some of their fresh rolls and some seafood salad and then they had some soups there that you can buy in the container um, and I got him a loaded potato soup and I got myself a creamy tomato with basil so we'll have that for supper tonight plus it's 88 degrees outside and it is rather balmy it's kind of humid it felt good to get out by myself for a little bit, you know, just poke around the store and take my time and not have anybody saying, you know, hurry up. And I ended up, I got a vanilla iced latte and I could not believe the price of these at Starbucks. I never go to Starbucks because I, I, to tell you the truth, and a lot of people out there are going to probably jump on me about this because I know a lot of you love Starbucks, but I never like the taste of their coffee. And if I'm going to pay that price for coffee, I'm going to get something I liked. But I didn't feel like cutting off in traffic and going to the McDonald's and I was really thirsty. So I went through the drive through at Starbucks and I spent three fifty something or three sixty something, I don't know. For this little dinky cup. It's like the tiny cup. And they call it the tall. That's what it looks like. I'll never do that again, I'll tell you. I tell ya. Ooh. Looks like there's a fire up ahead. A lot of smoke coming out of that truck. Wow. Wow. That does not look too good. Oh, looks oh I think there was a fire. Boy, it's a beautiful day. Look at those clouds over there though. They're calling for thunderstorms. And I would love to get a good thunderstorm tonight. Oh I hope so. Oh god, I thought that was a deer or something laying on the side of the road. It's just a trash bag. Ooh. So, tonight is Monday night. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there is supposed to be uh, something good on FX, rather, on the time it starts. I'm going to have to check the um, computer when I get home to see what the name of the movie is, but it looked good. So I'll probably stay up a little later tonight because my husband goes to bed about 9 and he watches Fox News when he's falling asleep. So I usually fall asleep to that. So I'll probably stay upstairs and watch the movie and just relax, have a cup of tea. Here's the girls. Oh my 
God, look at that one walking. God, she looks like she's ready to go milk. Poor thing. We need to hook her up bad. Her milk is in. Look at him. Hey, baby. Hi. Hi, precious. You are so cute. You guys are getting big. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at him. You are so tame. Where's your mama? Where is your mama, pretty boy or girl? Oh, so precious. Oh, I wish you could have a fox as a pet. Ooh. Oh my God, that looks like somebody's cat down there. Either that or a rabbit. Oh, I think it's a bunny. See it? They look like if I got out of the car, they'd come right up to you. But I wouldn't, because they're wild. But they're just so precious. I just think they're at the stage in their life now where they're not afraid of anybody. They don't know enough to be afraid of anybody yet. And I'm coming down my driveway, and somebody asked me um, how much land I have here and we've got almost four acres and these are all our woods here and this is going down my driveway and I have woods on each side God, the trees are like a canopy now going across the driveway We got a lot of ferns in the woods here and it's just kind of nice because you never know what you're going to see in the woods, you know? You see all kinds of neat little animals and we have streams coming down our driveway on the sides here and there's one little stream. Alright guys, we're back home. This is what I got at the grocery store. It's just 2% um, milk. I got a really good deal on these. They were $12.96, this um, ribeye, and I got it for $6.58. And this one was originally $12.78, and I got it for $7.82, and this is a filet mignon. So I thought that was a really good Just deal. Just tell them we'll cut the green off of it before we cook it. Oh yeah, there's no green on it. <laughs> Jeez. Um, then I got some provolone cheese, some hell of a good uh, sharp cheddar cheese, and I got some seafood salad with shrimp. Oh, I didn't know this one had shrimp. And that's what I'm having for supper tonight, along with these rolls that I got at the bakery section. Um, Coffee Mate Sour Cream Florida's Natural with the most pulp. And then Shea Moisture African Black Soap for acne prone and troubled skin. Um, it's got no parabens, no philophytes, no glutens, no pri propylene glycol, no mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, no PABA, no synthetic color, no DEA, and no sulfates. It's made from palm ash, tamarind extract, and plantain peel. Has been used in Africa for centuries to treat eczema, acne, oily skin, psoriasis, and other skin ailments. Combined with healing and hydrating properties of shea butter, 
This healing soap should be used daily to balance and resolve problem skin. Huh. I got eczema and psoriasis and troubled skin, so I'm going to keep that. And then I got some acne dote gel. I have the astringent, which works really good. And then I got two lip butters, and one is in Peach Parfait, and the other is Cotton Candy. And then I got a BB cream, the 8-in-1 in the color light to medium. And I got a OPI in Cajun Shrimp. And I have, have this myself and I love the color. And then I got this Ally Hansen. And this one is in Total Flirt. Then I got a Yes to Carrots um, Soothing Eye Gel and some CeraVe Sunscreen Face Lotion Broad Spectrum SPF of 50 with ceramides and niacinamide. And that's what that looks like. And a Baby Lips with Sunscreen 20. I have one of these and I love the taste of this. Suntan Lotion. Reminds me of summer. And then I got another um, Revlon number 668 in Primrose and that's what that looks like and I'm not going to open it because this one isn't for me but yeah so that's what I got and so that's my haul guys and I hope you're all having a great night and I will talk to you all soon bye bye thanks for watching